Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Also please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we may post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. Ohanese Ndibu Worldwide has made fresh demands ahead of President Muhammadu Buhari's scheduled visit to Imo State. This is coming after Governor Hope Uzadema of Imo State announced that President Muhammadu Buhari will visit the state on Thursday to commission significant projects. However, the Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization, in a statement issued on Tuesday by its Secretary General, Mazi Okechuku Isiguzuru, called on the President to implement the Professor Chigozi Obu led Ohaneze Ndibu Committee report on state creation. The committee had recommended the creation of Abia State. Sorry, of Abba State, I beg your pardon. The committee had recommended the creation of Abba State from the present Abia as equalization and sixth state of the for the Southeast as a legacy gift for Ndibu. Ohaneze said, Revisiting that recommendation will be a rare opportunity for President Muhammadu Buhari to appease the Southeast like the way he used the June 12 to appease the Southwestern Nigeria as Democracy Day. The group noted that it would ensure a balance of the equation and bring lasting political stability in every facet of governance of Nigeria. Ohaneze lamented that the Southeast region had endured huge marginalization from successive governments since the inception of the present democracy in Nigeria. Ohaneze Ndibu gives Ipazu Pasma on infrastructural strides in Abia. Ohaneze further asked Buhari to grant presidential amnesty to all prisoners of conscience, particularly the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Aipop, Namdekano, and all other pro Biafra agitators held in various security facilities across states of the Federation. According to the highest organization in Igbo land, the president should grant presidential pardon to all pro Biafra agitators and the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdekano. From there, the truce will commence towards addressing the demands of the secessionist groups across the Igbo land as it predominantly relates to the continued marginalization of the Igbo race in Nigerian scheme of things. The presidential amnesty will douse the tension necessitated from the rearrest of Namdekano and other pro Biafra agitators detained in security formations across the Federation. The visit of President Muhammad Buhari to the Southeast Zone will become significant and highly appreciative of the President of the President's come to Imo State in the Southeast Geopolitical Zone of Nigeria and look into these issues critically and holistically. We have the least states in the country. Recall that a committee on state creation was set up by the national body 
of Ohaneze Ndibo and was chaired by the current Vice Chancellor of Ebony State University. Professor Chi Gozie Obu submitted its report, which recommended the creation of a bar state to ensure structural balancing. We demand from the president that that report should be implemented because it will go a long, a long way in addressing some of the challenges facing the Southeast. Ohaneze Ndigbo further regretted that no Igbo man could be seen in the current Nigeria settings occupying sensitive and juicy positions, adding that some of the factors contributed to the morals of separatist agitations in Igbo land which it maintained must discuss, must be discussed and a lasting solution must be given to it. This charter of demands will correct the erroneous messages that President Muhammad Buhari's visit to Imo State is an alleged endorsement of open grazing routes and part of the fulanization of the South, Ohanese said. The pan Igbo Social Cultural Organization also warned some miscreants who would want to foment violence during the presidential visit to stay clear rather than resorting to sit at home and violence. And the Igbo should imbibe the Igbo cultural ancestry and norms of welcoming visitors with warm reception. According to Ohanese, we heard intelligence reports that some miscreants had planned to embarrass the president and his delegation during the visit to Imo State. We warned the miscreants not to pelt stones and sachet water on our visitors. Security agencies will deal ruthlessly with anyone or any group of persons that engages in such immoral acts. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular history as it were? It is sad and unfortunate, but um, can they get what they are demanding for? That is a tall order, and I'm sure all these requests would not appeal to Buhari. But we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Well, drop by the comment section, guys. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. And then hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. And then want to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.